Salam. In this video, we will learn approaches for converting between decimal and octal or hexadecimal. The methods will follow the same logic as we learned with binary, but are just a little more challenging. Let's begin with converting a number from hexadecimal into decimal. There are two methods shown here. The first simply combines two separate steps that we have learned already. First, we take the hexadecimal number and convert to binary by replacing each hex digit with a binary nibble. Then, we convert that lengthy binary number into decimal. This is done through multiplying each bit by its corresponding weight and then summing them all. For instance, this leftmost one carries a weight of 2 to the 14th power. The other approach is more direct. It takes advantage of the position weights already present in the hexadecimal number, which are all powers of 16. So this a is just to the left of the radix point, which means it gets multiplied by 16 to the 0. This 4 gets multiplied by 16 to the 1 and this d gets multiplied by 16 to the 2. In the next line we see each hexadecimal equivalent written as decimal, which helps me enter it into a calculator. After multiplying each digit, then adding, we obtain the final result of decimal 3402. Now we'll go in the other direction, from decimal to hexadecimal. Remember what we did when we converted decimal to binary the repeated divide by 2 method. That was because binary is base 2, but with hexadecimal the base is 16, so now we repeatedly divide by 16. The table is set up the same way with a column for quotient on the left and then a column for the remainder, but to help my brain I've added an extra column to help me see the translation from decimal in my calculator to hexadecimal, the actual base we are using. So I have 1,724 in the starting cell. I divide this by 16, which produces a quotient of 107 and remainder of 12. That decimal 12 will be written in hexadecimal as C. Next, 107 divided by 16 gives a quotient of 6 and remainder of 11, which is written as B. Finally, 6 divided by 16 gives 0 remainder 6. We read the result from bottom to top. So we see that decimal 1724 equals hexadecimal 6BC. The patterns we saw for hexadecimal apply for octal as well, except now we have a base of 8. When converting octal to decimal, I could use the two-step approach of first converting each octal digit into its 3-bit binary code, and then the second step of converting the lengthy binary number into decimal. The more direct approach uses the digit positions and powers of 8. The 6 is multiplied by 8 to the 0, the 4 is multiplied by 8 to the 1, and the 5 is multiplied by 8 to the 2. Sum those all up and we get the final value of decimal 390. In our final slide here, we see an example of converting from decimal into octal using the repeated divide by 8 method. In this table, I start with the given decimal 1724. I divide this by 8, which gives 215 remainder 4. I divide the 215 by 8, which gives 26 remainder 7 and so on until our quotient is zero. Then, reading bottom to top, I see the final value is octal 3274. One last note, when I use my calculator in standard mode, I don't directly see the remainders that are listed in this table. For example, 215 divided by 8 shows 26.875. The 26 gets placed in the left column, but how do I know it, it is a 7 that goes in the right column? I take the mantissa, 0.875, and multiply it by 8.